Listen, man, last time he said there wasn't going to be no fighting up in this party, man. And we had to fight, all right? I told you, I don't do no fighting, all right? So I'll, I, I don't really trust you, man. You're not a good source, all right, when it comes to finding these parties. Wow, dude. Wow. That's, you know, that's messed up, man. You just don't trust me. Why is it so hard to believe I'm going to take you to a party on a Saturday night? Is that is that an uncommon thing to do? I mean, come on, man. When have I ever stirred you wrong? Man, I made it pretty clear. There's got to be some bad bitches here, all right? It's got to gotta be bad. You understand what I'm saying? It got to be super, super bad, all right? Because Black Luffy don't rock with no busted bitches, okay? I'm, I'm just saying. Relax, bruh. You're going to have a good time. There's plenty of girls here, man. Plenty of beautiful girls, all right? I need you to trust me, okay? We gonna have a good time. I thought you said it wasn't gonna be no fight in this party, man. This ain't even a party. It's, it's just a fight. All right, listen, man. I, I'm sorry, man. I, 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 you know, I, I, I didn't know that it was, you know, when they said it was a fight club, I just assumed, you know, that was like a fancy term. This ain't what I signed up for, man. And ain't no bitch in this journey. It's what the fuck do I keep trusting you, man? Hey, hey, listen, hey, listen, man, look, look, that, that, girl, that girl girl right there, man, all right, why don't you, why don't you try to talk to her, all right, I'm, I'm busy trying to save my life, man, I'm trying not to die. Oh, so it's, it's, it's some bad shit, where, where they, where they at, over, over there, over there, over, over, over there, over there, over there, over Black Luffy. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm beautiful. Oh God! No God! Please no! 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 Oh shit! This bitch is crazy too. Oh shit! Hey, smoke. This all fighting. All right, I'm out of here, man. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. Alright, we're back. We're back. <laughs> video number three. Alright, we've been on a little bit of a roll. And I certainly hope you guys are rolling in your seats at some of these little skits I've come up with. I'm so clever. <laughs> You serious? I've been putting a little bit more effort into these videos and it seems like it's been paying off. You guys seem to really be enjoying it. Uh, it's a lot more positive feedback and comments and likes and you guys are just way more engaged than you were before and I love that. Please keep commenting, please keep liking, please keep sharing the video because your boy needs to help. Help me! Help me! Nigga! Help me! And here we are with the very last Portrait of Pirates, BB, which I have been informed stands for Beach Beauty? Bathing Beauty, I believe? I thought it was Beach Body. I'm not really sure what the BB stands for, but it is the bikini swim suit, swim suit set within the One Piece figure line. And this is the last available figure from that set. If you're not including the variants, which is different color variants and different poses for the same characters. Come on, there's like a little hat in here that we do not want to fall. So we'll go ahead and move that to the side. Oh. There's the base. 
which we already know is trash, okay? Fuck the bases that come with the set, not all that nice. Really no point in having them. I don't know why they waste the plastic. And the beauty herself. Ooh. Oh. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> we have a new favorite probably because this lady is gorgeous, let me tell you. Ooh, Rebecca. Ooh. Oh, no, Rebecca, don't touch me like that now. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, don't do it, Rebecca. Let's just put it, let's just put it down right quick. All right, so I'm not really sure what to do with this helmet here. The box displays it like it can be kind of held by her, but maybe the best way is to just kind of display it standing upright. I mean, the helmet is definitely a part of her character. I understand why they included it, but there's really no proper way to display it with her. Rebecca was introduced during the Dress Rosa arc of the show. This was a point in which Luffy had to confront one of the seven warlords of the sea, okay? These guys, they work for the law, but they don't abide by the law. This is something that you guys should be a little familiar with nowadays with all the police brutality going on. There is a similar connection, all right, to work for the law, but not always follow it completely. All right, these guys are kind of above the law. They're pirates, but they work for the military, they work for the government, they work for the Marines, all right? And though Flamingo is one of those pirates, extremely powerful, who is kind of above the law. That being the case, Luffy has to confront him when he gets to Dress Rosa and realizes that Do Flamingo is oppressing all of its people, all right? By turning them into toys, all right? Now this is not Do Flamingo's ability, it's an ability of one of his subordinates named Sugar, all right? Who can touch people and turn them into toys, and once they're turned into toys, they are kind of enslaved to the caster or the person with that ability. This is an ability that Do Flamingo has used to enslave the, all of the people of Dress Rosa, and Rebecca has a, let's say, mentor figure who has also been turned into a toy who she is trying to save him as well as her country because she is the princess of this country. Plot twist, right? There's always a princess, right? So she is the princess of this country. She tries to liberate them by entering into a tournament Coliseum tournament slash arc and who doesn't love a good tournament arc in an anime? All right And that is how she decides to try to liberate her people by competing in this tournament and trying to win the grand prize This here is Rebecca Beautiful might I add quite beautiful and Z probably one of my favorites all right and If you look at Rebecca's actual outfit compared to her swimsuit you might even think that her actual outfit is more revealing than the, oh my, oh my goodness, that's a lot of booty action right there. That's too much. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't derailed the entire discussion. We gotta, we gotta back it up a little bit back. Bad dial it back, Rebecca, come on girl. You're putting a hurting on us now. Alright, don't hurt nobody now. But if you look at Rebecca's actual outfit before I was really interrupted, you will notice that her actual outfit may possibly be more revealing than even her swimsuit. I mean, she is almost just as exposed, if not more. And so the fact that this kind of mirrors her Coliseum outfit and her gladiator outfit, if you will, is a good touch, you know? She is a very revealing, hyper-sexualized character, probably the most hyper-sexualized character I've seen in the entire show. You know, I think Oda was always against fan service at one point in time, and somehow they have twisted his arm and said, look, man, if you don't put some anime titties in your show, we're going to have a problem, all right? Like, some people could probably say that Nami was always kind of seductive and provocative, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think Rebecca has really taken the cake here. Now, look at this beautiful helmet, dude. Look at the design here. I know that's not what we're, what we're here for. I know we're here to see the lady, all right, and all the naughty bits, but this is a part of that design, a part of that display that is just absolutely gorgeous, man. Look at that. This is one of the most beautiful accessories that these figures have come with, actually. Usually they don't come with sunglasses or shades or something to that degree, but this is really 
freaking nice, dude. It'd be nice if it could kind of go on her head. I wish they made it large enough to do that. Because to be honest, it doesn't really have a place. Like, you just kind of have to find some place to put it. So I wish they would have made it large enough to fit on her head. That would have been a big plus. Uh, the checkered looking pattern, circle checkered pattern on her panties. This is supposed to also replicate the leotard that she had in her Coliseum outfit. So it is nice. That under boobage is mean, dude. I mean, this figure is so sexy, dude. It's it's probably hotter than any of the other figures for me personally. I think it's the pose. I think it's the expression. I think it's all of this, you know, brisket falling out of the taco shells right here. Like, that's just a lot of overflow right there that looks really well done. I mean, there's just so many components. You got this collar, which almost, like I said, looks almost a lot more BDSM kind of vibe going on, which I think really works. I mean, <laughs> you see those sex dungeons, there's a lot of wood and chains and collars and it almost looks like a coliseum so maybe maybe that's what they're going for i don't know maybe i'm reading it a little maybe i'm reaching a little bit but it is so nice look at the arch in the back look at the muscle definition like how did they do this because one of the more recent figures they just decided to go in just a little bit more with the detail than they did in the past it's a little hard to see that but that looks really good as well braids in the hair like Yo, this Rebecca is, is killing it, all right? She's killing the game. This is the new standard for these, for these figures. All right, guys, that does it for this Techno Tokyo Theater anime figure review. I hope you enjoyed. And I think Rebecca is an excellent figure to finish off on. <laughs> finish off on. That is not okay for school. <laughs> that is not what I intended to say. I don't, know, I don't know how these accidents keep happening. Oh, that also does not sound kosher. <laughs> so, before we leave, of course I gotta plug my Patreon. If you guys haven't seen a new ad, I think it's hilarious. I hope you guys do too. And I just want to let you know that you still have a couple of weeks before this giveaway is up. It ends at the end of August. So please join the Patreon if you wanna be entered to have a chance to win this China dress Nami. If you're a big One Piece fan and you want to get some of these figures, I want to give you some of these figures. I want to give some of these away. So we're starting with this China dress Nami and we will continue past there. So thank you for watching and have a good day guys. Bye bye.